There has to be a better way. Oh, yeah. Today is a couple of quick tips that are modifiers for placing blocks down in creative. You should note this will work in survival as well, as long as you have the materials to do so, obviously. All it does is place blocks faster for you or place blocks in a different uh, manner, and we're going to look over that in a bit. But this will not work on multiplayer servers that are not running a uh, vanilla-ish form of Minecraft. So paper servers, spigot servers, none of those are going to be able to use these options because those servers are specifically limiting packets from clients, and it won't be able to keep up with the fast block placement. First thing is a fast block placement. Go into your tweak room menu, go to the tweaks tab, look for tweak fast block placement. Give that a hotkey there. So in my case, control F. Then when you hit that hotkey, it's going to turn on the fast block placement and show you the mode. So I have mode equals face. So that means whatever face I'm looking at. So in this case, the upwards face, I can place blocks in the upwards face, but not the side faces. So it not only places the blocks really fast, as fast as you can reach those blocks, but it also has modifiers that will limit uh, where these things can be placed. To change your modes, use your Z and one through six buttons. I also have Z on my zoom, so that's why the screen did that, ignore that. But so Z one is plain, face, three is column, line, five is diagonal, and six is layer. I prefer the face, but layer is also really nice when you have to fill in just a specific layer of something. So a specific Y value. You want to fill in just by being able to look at it. And this way, I don't have to worry about it placing up or down. I don't have to change the face I'm looking at. And I can just kind of come along and fill in this ravine. But I really like face for if I need to build like a large platform or something. I can even combine this with carpet no clip. And I can actually get blocks in behind me. So I can just come down this line now and hold down my mouse button. And it's just going to build those blocks for me. Next, we want to look up the hotkeys tab. And we're going to look for flexible block placement offset and give that a hotkey. What that will do is when you hold down that hotkey, so in my case control, it will give you this grid on the block you're looking at, and then you can offset the placement of those blocks. I can even go block off and leave a block of air there. Next thing we want to look up is once again in the hotkeys tab, the flexible block placement rotation and give that a separate hotkey. So in this case, I've got mine on alt. And what that does is blocks that have a direction like this observer here, normally when you place an observer, it places with the face away from you, no matter which way you're facing, the face of the observer is always away from you. But if I hold down my hotkey, I get that same grid, but now instead of pushing it offset, this time it will rotate it in accordance with that grid. We can even use that in conjunction with each other. So if I wanted to place a horizontal chain on top of this lava, normally I'd have to, you know, either build up this way and do it right there. I can just do left control, left alt, and boom. And final little tip has to do when it comes to observers. If you're doing work with observer redstone, then you have a problem if you realize, you know what, I actually want to change this observer over to this way. Now it's going to tick off all of those toggle states, and that's not what I want. So I'm going to come into my menu, go to the Yeats tab and look for disable observer. And I've given that a hotkey in here. So I can press my hotkey and now it's toggled disable observer on. So now I can break observers in front of observers. I can place blocks in front of observers. It's not going to do anything until I turn that setting back off. Really only useful if you're doing observer redstone in a single player world, but when you need this feature, it is invaluable. So I thought I'd include it in here. That's all for this video. Again, link to Tweakaroo will be down in the video description. Thanks for checking out the uh, tutorial on how to build this beautiful base I'm standing on. Yeah, okay. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.